Hi folks, Slick Slices here. Now, was it Nick Shabazz always says? Uh, we have here today an interesting little knife. And I think that's what this is. Um, interesting. And I say that because I'm, I've am i had this um, here for a couple of months. And I'm just about to um, take it back. And I've held off making a video on it because... I can't make up my mind what I think about it. Um, so I suppose let's do this a bit uh, in a kind of a Nick Shabazz styley, the good, the great, the bad, and the ugly. What's good about it? Well, first of all, it's a Spider Co, um, and it's a Taichung made Spider Co. And if you've ever had um, any Taichung made knife whether that be um another spider co like the subvert that we looked at a few weeks ago or whether it's you know my perennial favorite the enzo um pk70 you get just the most excellent fit and finish for really quite good money now the um the enzo is not that you can get them anymore depending on the model. Um, this one is just a G10 one, comes in just over hundred pounds, came in at just over hundred pounds. There's a uh, one with a titanium bolster and G10, um, was more like 130, I think. And then there was um, a carbon, full carbon fiber version, which isn't full carbon fiber. It's a uh, 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 peel ply carbon fiber over a G10 base. Um, it comes in about the same sort of price as this one, just over the hundred pounds mark. Um, very, very high quality, very well, very well made, and good value. Now, this one of the good things about it is uh, one of the other good things about it is it's relatively inexpensive for what it is. It's a Taichung made Spider Co in carbon fiber, um, and it comes in just over two hundred pounds, two hundred and four pounds. As at today, and it's in stock at Lamnia, and I get nothing out of Lamnia for saying that. I'm merely telling you that because if you are on my side of the pond, that's a place you can get these from. And um, I, uh, well, I'm not going to discourage you from buying one, but I have not put in my order. So I think that probably sort of says where we are. Anyway, what's good about it? This is proper uh, carbon fibre. Um, really nicely finished uh, proper carbon fiber you've got uh, a relatively deep carry um, paper clip style um, pocket clip and it's reversible um, it is the spider coast compression lock which is sort of uh, ambidextrous but I actually have trouble using the lock um, with my left hand. I believe other people don't have that that same problem. But anyway, it's not a, a frame lock. So that's a good thing in my book. And it's certainly given a good look. You know, you've got these nice, what appear to be custom pivots, but they're actually just, um, I think they're, T8 probably and you've got nice big screws on the body screws as well so you wouldn't be too shy of taking this apart you don't you don't feel like you're going to strip everything out now I'm not taking it apart but it looks good for that and you've got a lanyard hole if, if that's your thing um, generally it tends to be mine if there's an option for one I generally put one on um, now where I struggle a bit with it and again this is me is opening it with this with the spidey hole i i can do it but it's not straightforward um and that's probably it's the lock that makes me uh, a little bit reluctant to just say yes i love this knife um is the advantage of the compression lock is you should be able to uh, fold it without your fingers being in the way but for me to make it work I tend to have to put them in the way, um, so it's it's not it's not a very uh, slick 
slicers uh, type of lock mechanism and that sort of puts me off a little bit action's very smooth though and I I don't think it's bearings I can't see on the Lamnia website whether it's uh, bearings but I, I would say it looks more like it's um, kind of phosphor bronze or something like that uh, washes and it certainly feels like that but the important bits there just um, there it says Taichung Taiwan and uh, the, the name on there Alistair Phillips or A Phillips I thought it said C Phillips for a, a minute there and I was getting a little bit confused but Alistair Phillips um, this is based on a custom knife that he makes uh, which is called the Redback um, which I've never actually seen but uh, that's what this knife is um, apparently based upon um, on the other side you've just got the Spider Co um, symbol and Spider Co CPM S30V now I quite like S30V as a steel I think it's very practical and works very well and this is quite a nice uh, moderate um, blade it's not super thin but it's not super thick a full flat grind um, nice satin finish has the look of a hand sanded finish although I just I can't believe at the cost of these so I, so I suspect it's probably um, a machine applied finish but it's it's very nicely done there's a good edge on it and it's nice and sharp um, as regards the ergos I find it a bit slim so yeah I was going to do good the bad and the ugly but that's fallen apart already hasn't it but uh, you know it's a very I've been inclined to say about knives recently you know it's a very competent knife and it absolutely is and if it fits in your hand um, and you're happy with that as a lock mechanism and you can work it this is probably a very very good knife so my criticisms of it are more along the lines of it doesn't really work for me rather than criticisms of the knife itself because I don't think there's anything to say that's really um, objectively bad about it um, I'm not sure about the red uh, G10 backspacer um, just seems a, a slightly odd design thing but I suppose it's the red back so that's where that comes from um, also you skeletize skeletonized steel liners you need obviously to have really to have steel liners for the um, compression lock and the compression lock is supposed to be a very good lock it's basically a liner lock in reverse you know liner lock on the lock in the back um, but uh, yeah I suppose it, it, it does drop a little bit and I suppose with a bit of use it would probably drop a little bit easier which would make one hand closing just a little bit easier um, but no it's a very smart knife and um, most people whom I've spoken to about it uh, seem to rate it very very highly I just it just doesn't speak to me like that Alamek did that we saw last week you know that just worked for me this one I have to work at and you know I don't want to have to work at a knife I want it to uh, you know work for me on my terms so it's it's a good knife but it's not going to be my knife uh, which is a shame really because of all the knives that we've um, reviewed on this is probably um quite possibly the cheapest um it doesn't look it but I think it just when it when I look at the actual prices um you know, I, I, I would rate it higher than some of the Cherbikovs, um, but it's, it's it's cheaper than most of the Cherbikovs. Um It doesn't compare with the the Shiro's without a doubt, and it, to my mind, it doesn't compete with the Alamic. Um, so I will be doing a little wash up video of this little batch of knives just to go through them as a group. They don't there aren't really direct comparisons. I mean. In a, in a way, one could say that this um, bears a comparison to the uh, 
subvert in that they're both spider coes um, and they're both Taichung spider coes and there are one or two similarities in the design language like the, the pivots are the same and if I remember correctly I think they're both S30V let me just check this subvert Can you, do you believe it doesn't say? Oh, it does. There it is. Yes, S thirty V. So you know there are some sort of similarities, but you know one is a, a slicing monster and the other is a chopping beast. So you know, I, there's no point in really doing a comparison video on those. But I will do a little wash up video of the uh, six knives in this little group and tell you what I think. And um, if if I was, you know, I, they're all going back, but, you know, if I could say which one, could I choose one to keep? Um, I'll give you an idea of, 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 of where we'd be with that. But you probably gather from this that it probably wouldn't be this one. Anyway, um, it's a very good knife. And if it suits you, if you, you know, if it fits your hand and you like that uh, compression lock, then... Um, it's a very, very sort of slicey knife. It's a very well-made knife. Um, it's very, t it's top quality materials. Um, and if, if it, if it um, uh, looks good to you, then I would go for it. There's certainly no reason to say you, that there's, there's anything wrong with it. Just probably doesn't fit, fit my hand desperately well. Anyway, if you like this sort of stuff, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see that summary, then please subscribe and remember to ring the bell. Thank you very much. Bye.